everybody else over here. Uh, we should have Jeff teach. Yep. So, okay. uh, I'm not going to do a lot of live rolling today. Uh, if you guys want to live roll, you can. Tom, how many showers can your shower thing handle? Probably two? Probably one in each. One in each. No, there's one shower. Just one? There's only one shower, right? One shower. Water, water, water heater's small, right? Water heater's small. You've got about six minutes. Uh, so, <laughs> you guys want to roll a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really good showers. So, uh, we're going to go over technique today, and uh, a lot of people are missing <laughs> from my groups. That kind of makes me mad, but it is what it is. So, uh, let's start with, let's start with top for teaching. Greg, we need you over here too. All right, let's do, Tommy's going to come forward. Um, we can use Greg. Uh, I'll use, uh, I guess, no, I think I'll use Tyler. Tyler? Yeah, I like Chuck. Try to think of something that was that was relatively simple. You know, we're going to talk about a lot of different techniques and stuff today, so I wanted to keep it simple. We all understand. Hey, quiet down. We all understand the Ezekiel choke. We all understand that submission a little bit, or have seen it, or at least heard the heard the myth. So I'm going to show you a quick reverse view here. It's really key to always get. If the opponent has double unders, if they have double unders, then you know you always are available for the Ezekiel choke. If I can get on top of his shoulders, okay? So I'm gonna go over the grip really fast and some details that people kind of leave out. So if I'm in the mount position, I want you guys to just imagine we're in the mounted position. I'm mounted, I'm going under his head here, and I'm grabbing my gi. Some folks will go full all their fingers inside the gi. But I find that that limits my movement. My knuckles, my full width of my hand run into my wrist. And so it kind of limits. So I go two or three. I've got a, haven't gotten old and my fingers are getting feeble. So I go three here recently. So I go three and another really important aspect of this is when I put my, my fingers in the sleeve and in the cup, then I have to go past. I need to go up to like the middle of my fingers. I need to come up to that second knuckle. How many times have we been fighting grips right here and we just don't have that power and we strip that grip? So try to get up to the middle part of your finger here. So my grip is here. So then when I go to sink it in, I run my hand flat against my body. And then once I get across his Adam's apple, then I turn and I choke with the blade of my wrist up against the Adam's apple, okay? So can you go down to your back? So in the mounted position, I need to understand that if I'm setting up this Ezekiel choke and I run my arm all the way under, that I'm at risk of getting swept this way. Okay, so especially if he blocks my foot with his foot. If he gets up on my hip, pitches under my hip, he goes, the sweep is there. So I need to understand that. So what I do is I put my head up across the shoulder, and I make sure the shoulder's pinned. And I start turning this knee in and this foot out to offset my balance, because I know what's gonna happen. I need to be sure that he doesn't overhook this foot. The next thing, I catch my grips. And my knuckles deep, remember, up in the middle of the fingers. And I'm gonna look into the opponent for the crown of my head. Look into him, and that's turning his head. Run the flat of my hand against him, and then turn the blade. 
and he's already tapping. So I'm pushing, bring my hand in flat, I turn the blade against, and I make the super cut. Any questions? It's a relatively easy submission, but we have to remember a couple things. So like, if he is uh, on his back in half guard, see I'm on top of half guard. If I'm in this position, and I try to hit this, does he feel? I need to understand that he has the underhook and he can catch my back. All he has to do is hit out. Okay, so when I go for the Ezekiel, I always try to catch it pass. Okay, if I'm in the half guard, then I want to try to catch it, try to start passing, and then I can start setting up that Ezekiel choke from here because he can't get his hips out now. I have him pinned. Like that quarter guard, you know, that's that sticky there sometimes. So just some, just some light rules about the Ezekiel choke. It's always easier getting into the middle of the fingers. It's always been easier for me to go two to three fingers in only so I can get that movement, okay? And also, the last thing I'll say about it is getting the opponent's shoulders pinned. If I can get his shoulders pinned to the mat and flattened, then I know he can't catch my back. Okay. All right, that's it.